Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Evolving Goddess. Welcome to my channel. What's up, y'all? If you're new for the first time, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have been rocking with me, though, you already know what it is. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. You guys, we reached over 500 subs. So thank you, guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Um, you guys, just a couple quick announcements. This is going to be um, Aquarius, your full moon reading, because I'm not going to lie. I didn't get your empowerment reading out. Um... So this is for you guys, right? What are your energies? That What do you guys need to know about today? Today is the 20th, okay? But whenever you come across this video, it's intended for you to get something from it, okay? Um, so the intention is said that you will resonate with this reading, right? These are general readings, though, so please only take what resonates and don't force it. Uh, and also, guys, you can always book a personal reading with me. So if you're resonating, right, and you want to go deeper, go ahead and hit me up. And, oh, beautiful, right? So this kind of came up in reverse, right? So that's three of swords. It's a beautiful sign, right? You guys are coming out of the heartbreak, coming out of the disappointment, right? Obstacles are being removed. You guys are moving forward. Or maybe you're getting some kind of communication that is turning, you know, um, turning this to this upside down. So beautiful, guys. All right. So, yes, um, I am going to go ahead and list all my information in the description box below. So if you guys want to book a personal reading, right, you certainly can. I kind of have my prices really affordable for you guys, right? Because... Um, after all, I'm here to give guidance, right? So I want to be able to provide that to you guys. So bottom of the deck, we have two of swords, right? So hopefully you guys are coming out of this energy. But this means, you know, needing to make a decision. Maybe a little bit stuck, right? Maybe needing more information. To, um, sorry, I saw something floating. But maybe needing a little bit more clarity before you can make a decision, okay? Um, this card, guys, go ahead and use your intuition, right? Let your intuition guide you because that's going to be able to, that's going to point you in the direction, okay? But yeah, some of you guys could be stuck. All right, some of you guys could be stuck. <laughs> All right, guys, so you guys could be confused. Maybe you need to make a decision about love. All right, maybe you guys are kind of stuck because of a situation. Maybe you guys are still in love with somebody where, you know, it's not working out the way you wanted it, okay? Or there's some kind of ending and maybe somebody's wanting to come back and you're a little bit confused about how to move forward. But nonetheless, guys, Ten of Swords, this talks about disappointment, right? Ending to something. Um, mental anguish, stressed out, right? You're done with the situation. You guys could be done with something, but maybe still in love, okay, possibly. Um, but that's just, you know, for somebody. So let's go ahead and see what we have, okay? All right, Spare, let it be great, please. Um, what do they need to hear for this full moon re reading? Um, March 30th or March 20th. <laughs> All right, guys. So some of you guys are bossing up, right? You could be talking to a Capricorn. Um, but this is all about you guys being confident. This is all about you guys kind of making decisions, right? Making practical decisions, making practical moves, okay? Um, nurturing yourself, right? Having a clear vision about something and being still. Absolutely, right? Because she's sitting, right? Being still to allow your intuition to guide you, right? Some of you guys are transforming and evolving. Some of you guys are kind of stepping into your power, right? Nurturing yourself. Maybe you're kind of owning something, being the boss of your life. Or maybe you own a business. But this is some kind of abundance possibly coming into your life as well. Um, but you guys definitely have transformed and evolved to the point where you guys are like seeing things differently, right? The butterflies always speak to transformation. But then also you guys maybe need to be still so you can hear that guidance, all right? Because the guidance here is they're trying to get you to happiness, right? They're trying to bring you everything exactly that, um, they're trying to bring you everything you want right now, right? Ten of Cups, this is my emotional high card, okay? So whether this be money, family, a job, a project, a career, whatever this is for you, right? Listen to your internal guidance and be still, okay? Um, because the Queen of Pentacles represents abundance and the intuit, um, the High Priestess is trying to lead you there, okay? Um, so this could be abundance in all areas of life. It doesn't have to be money, although it could be. <laughs> all right, guys. So some of you guys are following your calling, right? Judgment. This is all about rising up, okay? Um, answering the call, okay? You could be getting a promotion. Absolutely. You could be making some money moves where you're getting some money. But this is also you guys being confident, right? Kind of stand, standing in your power because you have learned your life lessons. This is you guys all kind of analyzing everything, right? Looking back, kind of looking over your good decisions and your bad decisions and knowing that going forward, you're going to trust that intuitive guidance to kind of help you uh, make better decisions going forward, all right? This could also mean that somebody's coming back around, the judgment card, a resurrection, right? Somebody wants to come back because you make them happy, okay? Absolutely. But yeah um for the most part you guys um you guys are being divinely guided right you could be you're, you're being divinely guided for sure 
right? We have the high priestess here in the judgment with the wings that talks about, you know, answering the call. Anytime you're answering the call to somebody, answering the call to something, you guys, it's leading to your happiness. You're being divinely guided. So trust that, all right? Um, yeah, but you guys are just kind of making decisions right now, right? So seven of swords. All right, so guys, this is my self-sabotage card, okay? So this is all about using your internal guidance to kind of help you, right? Knowing that you don't have to do it on a do it on your own. This is about trying to see things from a different perspective so that you can make the right decisions. Source that talks about intellect, it talks about mental, right? Seven is being able to master those thoughts so that you are making um, balanced decisions, okay? Um, this could also speak to some kind of deception, right? You could be deceiving yourself or there could be some deception around, right? Some kind of secrets or something like that. Maybe some secrets are being called out, okay? And maybe you're kind of stepping into your own power, right? High Priestess can represent secrets. Seven of Swords can represent, you know, deception. So maybe that's being um, in an adjustment with the horn. Like somebody's being, you know, something's being brought to the light, guys, okay? Possibly. Um, and you are kind of just needing to make a balanced decision. You're needing to nurture yourself. And maybe you're kind of needing to kind of plan your future. What does that look like for you? All right? Others of you guys just need to make sure that you are um, thinking about all options as you move forward in your life, okay? All right, five of swords. Absolutely, guys. So this is a lot about thought processes, okay? So you guys, while you're going through... Um, you guys really could be trying to listen to your intuition, right? You could be um, you could be a little bit blocked, right? You could be hurt and confused, and it's kind of not allowing you to hear that internal guidance that's trying to push you in the right direction. Um, five of Swords, guys, that does talk about there is, that's the ego, right? Your ego could be telling you something, and you are maybe kind of not confident enough to be able to hear this. That's really going to push you in the right direction, right? So Five of Swords, it's all about a change in perspective. It's all about seeing something differently so that you can come out. Out of that energy right and you can move forward um, but with the seven of swords the five of swords there could have been some deception right there could have been some heartbreak there could have been some unfair some secrets possibly where we were revealed guys okay um, with these those three cards there for sure um, but so yeah somebody didn't see something coming right they were blinded by it okay maybe kind of leaving somebody confused leaving somebody hurt all right, so yeah, guys, um, being able to kind of shift the way you're looking at something. Um, fives are all about lessons, right? What have you learned from this situation, right? Judgment card. What have you learned? What has it taught you? How have you evolved? All right, being able to look at the beauty in this situation and turn it around to help push you forward, okay? Because you are transforming, you are evolving, okay? Absolutely. All right, so let's see what else, guys. <laughs> All right, Judgment card is clarified by the Star card, guys. This is all about keeping the faith, all right? This is all about your calling, right? You are the, you are the star, and the Judgment card is, you know, you're unique, right? And you're the star, so this is you being authentic, right? This is you rising above. This is you definitely moving forward in your truth, okay? Um, keeping the faith, guys, right? Definitely keeping the faith. And the, um, the eight always speaks to strength, okay? So knowing that you have the strength to be able to move forward, you definitely could be stepping into some money or stepping into a business, okay? Um, that's kind of true to who it is that you are. The star card also can speak to your wishes, right? Your wish, whatever it is that you've been wishing for, right? You went through some life lessons and you kind of realize who you are. You realize what it is that you want and your wishes are going to come true, okay? Beautiful, guys. Yeah, the star card could also speak to healing too, though, right? It you could you could be going through some healing, right? There's some deception here. There's something that you don't really feel is fair. Um, something that kind of happened that didn't really work out the way that you wanted it to work out, right? So you could definitely be going through some healing, kind of going over your life lessons, and kind of healing yourself to step into your power, maybe to kind of move forward with that career move or the money or just something, but. It's beautiful energy. Let's see what the Seven of Swords says. All right, guys. Yeah. So somebody definitely, there There was some deception. We see it here. All right. And you're kind of going over your life right now. You're looking at your lessons. You are, there's a need to make sure you're staying strong, right? Nurturing yourself, okay? Somebody definitely either maybe has a lack of faith, right? Because you're going through some changes. Or this is you maybe kind of financially, right? Financially struggling. Um, so you guys, keep the faith, okay? Because your overall energy is the queen of pentacles. This is a boss, lady, right? This is about money. This is abundance, okay? She's confident and, she, and she's secure, right? She has a clear vision. So you guys... Um, 
This is all about shifting the way you're looking at something, right? Not having a lack of faith, trusting the process, shifting something. This is something, um, the fives, again, what did this situation teach you, okay? How have you evolved? How have you learned, right? I'm pretty sure you think about something differently now, right? You're seeing something from a different perspective now, and it's going to help you to be able to move forward. But yeah, there could have been some deception here, right? But I feel like this situation definitely taught you something about yourself. It definitely helped you evolve, okay? Learn to, maybe kind of helped you learn to trust yourself more and it kind of brought the real true you out okay the star card is all about being authentic to who you are okay beautiful guys all right let's see yeah some of you guys though could be some of you guys could have been left out some kind of deception or some kind of secrets right kind of has you feeling in a certain type of way okay all right, guys, so the emperor. All right, so we have the fives here, which talks about changing your perspective, maybe going through some changes. This is all about you guys, okay? This is you guys stepping in your power. This is you staying focused. This is you guys being driven, right? Because you have a goal here, some kind of, maybe you're looking, maybe you're wanting to go after somebody. Maybe you're going after a vision. Maybe you're going after a dream, a job. You're wanting a level up, right? I feel like she's a level up. So this is all about what whatever happened, right? It was a blessing in disguise. Go ahead and turn around, all right? And take that lesson for what it was. Learn from it, okay? Shift the way you're looking at something and go ahead and turn that pain into power. Turn that confusion into power, all right? Step into your power. Stay focused. Go forward, okay? Um, I feel like right here, the yellow always talks about being enlightened and then the red talks about making moves, taking action, okay? Um, yeah, but the emperor, he's a, he's a power player, right? He's confident. He knows his worth. He knows his value, just like the queen, like the queen of pentacles here. All right. So you guys could definitely be stepping up, right? You could be stepping up into something. Maybe you're kind of leaving something behind, right? The fives always, the five of swords also talks about knowing when to walk away from something that is no longer resonating for you. Okay. And stepping into your power and moving towards this idea that you have this, this business or this career, this promotion, this person, just something. Okay. Um, beautiful though. Yeah, some of you guys may need to kind of walk away from a situation where somebody is kind of ha um, taking your power, right? With the five of swords, the five of pentacles, and the seven, this could be somebody that could be manipulating your mind, possibly, right? They're kind of making you feel a little bit left out, right? They kind of put you in an unfair situation, and this is all about you stepping into your power, stepping into your independence and moving forward, right? Keeping your faith and kind of healing yourself, right? Going over your decisions and not making the same mistakes again, okay? What is this lesson ha what has it taught you? Beautiful, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull from my favorite deck, the Moonology. Okay, um, I did pre-shuffle these for you guys, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle really quick, and then I'll cut the deck. And I'm going to ask Spirit to go ahead and give us two cards. Two cards here. Yeah, you guys could be coming out of some kind of deception, but it's okay. Maybe there's some kind of um, meditating contemplates at the bottom of the deck, Okay. There could have been something that didn't work out, right? Something that didn't work out the way that you wanted, possibly, right? Maybe with a job or a career or something like that. Something financially didn't work out the way that you wanted. All right. So change your perspective, guys. How did it teach you something about yourself, okay? Um, at the bottom of the deck, though, we do have a new romantic cycle begins. Beautiful, guys. So whoever left you out in the cold, guys, go ahead and let that go, right? Let it go because you possibly have an emperor coming in for you. Look at the bigger picture. We talked about that, guys. Absolutely, right? Look at the bigger picture, okay? Everything happens for a reason, guys. And um, this was this. I'm sure this was a lesson, but it's to put you in it. It's, it's to put you. It, it's to um kind of make you be stronger, right? The emperor. He's a strong power player. All right. Let's see. One more card, please, for it. This one kind of, um, we're not going to take, these are too many. Work through your fears. That was the first card that I saw. All right, Spirit, just one card, please. One card for Aquarius. What do they need to know right now about this full moon energy? What do they need to know? Yeah, some of you guys might need to, um, some of you guys might, might need to just kind of really clearly think about something, too, before you're making any moves, right? The emperor, he's the ruler of the land, so he's very smart, right? Um, he makes good decisions, okay? Because some of you guys may need to kind of tread, light, tread lightly, right, so that you don't put yourself in financial binds as well. 
all right thinking about it clearly being practical right the queen she makes good decisions all right she's sitting there confident she's sitting there comfortable she sees her vision and then she decides on what she wants okay so the answers you need are coming right we saw that with the, the high priestess and the queen being still to allow that guidance okay your intuition is going to guide you and then luck is on your side guys so this is very beautiful so you guys um beautiful 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 all right, so I'm going to flip this card over because it's beautiful. I didn't even see it, but I'm nosy. So the full card, guys, yes, right? Endings, judgment card, right? You have learned. You have evolved. The star card, your wish is going to lead you to a new beginning, right? Whether this be a relationship, whether this be you taking a leap of faith on your own, you transform, you've evolved, you're taking no past behind you. You've learned those lessons and you're leveling up. You're moving forward. You trust the process here. Um, and this is all about you taking a leap of faith right you know you're being divinely guided it's like the, there's like a light cloud or like a white light coming out of the cloud and we saw that with the high priestess here okay so you know you're being divinely guided luck is on your side trust the process guys you're starting something new either coming out of some kind of deception or you're coming out of something right because you're following your calling um yeah this is beautiful very beautiful guys Maybe that relationship you want is coming back around. So you guys, manifesting, right? This is all about as above, so below. This is all about taking action with the emperor, standing in your power, knowing what you want, right? Bringing peace of mind back to your life. So you guys, when you're manifesting with the seven of swords and the five of pentacles, that's low energy, okay? Go ahead and have faith, okay? Heal yourself from the past and go ahead and turn around and look at something from a different perspective. Look at the bigger picture and manifest. Manifest anything that you want, right? As above, so below low but you have to do it from a, a good energy you, if whatever you think about is what you will attract so if you want to get out of the deception you want to get out of the um being left out in the cold go ahead and shift the way you're thinking turn that pain into power anything you want right now you can have and this is telling you to go ahead and go for it right success is on the board here okay this is a level up this is money this is boss this is independence okay so beautiful guys you can manifest anything um real quick though this could definitely be somebody is manipulating you somebody's taking your power and you need to go ahead and step into your own power power and possibly take your own leap of faith on your own okay start your own journey accept things for what they are what lessons did you learn and move forward okay last card out yeah queen of swords this is all about discernment guys this is i have learned my lessons okay i have evolved i am true and authentic to myself i don't care what nobody else has to say i'm the power player in my life okay um the queen of swords is somebody who has clarity right she's not going to take any bull she has discernment she knows what she wants she goes after it she doesn't wear she doesn't wear um and that flipped right over to look at the bigger picture guys so she doesn't wear her emotions on her sleeve, right? But she still has them. But then this is also, you guys, making logical decisions, okay? So if you're in something where you are feeling powerless, right, with the emperor, maybe somebody's taking your power, make a decision from the logical space and not from your emotions, okay? So you guys, um, the ego card, right? Knowing when to walk away from a situation that is no longer resonating with you. All right, so this is beautiful though, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy, guys. Whatever you want is on the board here. Shift the way you're looking at something. Be true to who it is you are. Follow your calling. Take that leap of faith. Money is on the board here. Um, make good decisions, guys. Beautiful. That's what I have, Aquarius. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, y'all, talk to your girl. I'll talk back, y'all. Peace.